like penalties and if you're in a bad time, you're in a bad spot. Uh, well, we can just cut to the chase and talk okay. about corn and mechanics, don't we? Well, just generally. Uh, yeah. Again, we got a young team. Um, this is a team sport. And uh, guys take penalties. Do I like the way the penalties were taken? Absolutely not. Is it not acceptable? It is. Uh, we didn't manage the game. In saying that, <laughs> got to kill one of those off. Kill one off. We're still playing right now. Uh, they scored on both of them, and uh, here we are an answering questions about unreasonable penalties. penalties. Uh, yes, they were. Uh, got probably a little bit lazy on a back check. Fifth of the stick gave him a chance to make a call. And uh, the last one, to be honest, I don't know, I'm pretty sure we all saw it. Our guy give them a chance to uh, make make a, uh, to call a penalty. He did. Uh, guy, uh, whoever it was, went down pretty easy. So uh, I don't know. Do, do I? Do you take one there? Ref's got to make a call. He decided to take one. Uh, maybe one of the other guys take two in that one because uh, you know that's uh, it's on it's on our guy because he gave the ref the chance to make the call. So he's going no matter what. It's the ref's decision there. Now he's going to make the call that the guy embellished it. And in that situation, the ref decided he didn't. So I think it's a little. Despite them playing back-to-back -back games, the third period, it looked like they really took the game to you guys. Uh, what did you see there? Uh, I don't know. Again, I, I didn't. Maybe, obviously, we only had two shots on goal that hit the net. It doesn't say we only had two shots on goal. If, if we took the time of possession in each zone, I bet you they would have been a minute of each other. Um, the, again, it looks that way because you're, you're short-handed. So if you're going to take that, you're going to look like you're in, the, you're in zone quite a bit. But uh, uh, if I'm correct, we hit a post in the third. Mm -hmm. We hit a post. We scored. Uh, we had um, we had chances there. Again, ours were missing the net. Theirs were hitting sticks and going in the net. To me, that was the difference. I didn't think that the ice was tilted at all. You'd mentioned this morning that you wanted this to be a measuring stick to see how you would be able to go with them if you could hang with them. Do you think you hung with them? I don't know. What do you think? Well, I, I can't answer that question. <laughs> I thought we were fine. I thought, uh, again, you take out, you, if you just get one penalty kill. We're still playing, and uh, I don't think anybody can watch the game and sit here and say that they outplayed us. I didn't think so. I know I'm uh, obviously cheering for one team over the other, but uh, the guys home straight most of the time, and uh, I thought it was a, I thought it was a, actually one heck of a hockey game to be honest. Fans got their money worth on, uh, on that one, and uh, big big time players on both teams stepped up, and uh, they just they got the last good break with the least amount of time left in the game, and that's how it ended. Can you assess the impact of Ben today? And I read, I thought it was not his better for five years. Uh, I don't know. Again, like, you look at the goals, and I, I, I didn't sit here and go through every single one, but I, I mean, Orpik tips one off the ground in the corner. Nobody's stopping that. Uh, one's on a power play. He makes the first save, and one of the greatest players in the world is on the doorstep. Um, the... I couldn't see the angle of the last one, so I don't know. But it looked like he roped it. So uh, I, I, I think the, there's the, the one he probably would have back would be Orpix, only because maybe he could have froze the one before and kept, the play kept going. But uh, again, we, we had chances to get the puck out on the PK, and we didn't. So if you're going to give them that many chances, eventually they're going to have really good chances to score. But, Pittsburgh did a really good job of getting in the net and tipping pucks, and rebounds were bouncing around. Uh, so, you know, there was a lot of really good hockey players on the ice that can put the puck in the net, and they did. And so I thought, uh, I thought it was fine. I thought we let them down by not stepping up on the uh, PK. When you do have a young team like you do, Connick and Kalorn, nice play to get the tying goal. They make a couple of mistakes. Is that all just part of the learning curve for some guys? I think so. I, again, do I think it's, I've had these guys. It's not in their nature. Everybody at some point in their career becomes undisciplined. It's a, it's a high emotion sport. Uh, 
But with experience and age and being around the game, you learn to control that a little better. But you're looking at a couple players that have less than, they probably don't have 50 NHL games combined. And, and they're out there in big moments of the game. So they're the guys that tied the game for us. And ultimately, in the end, uh, again, they didn't cost us the game. Did they put us in a little bit of a hole? But they did so much good out there. I can't, you can't, just because they made a mistake at the end of the game, everybody will point a finger. But it's a team sport. We have to bail them out, and we did. So now people are going to point the finger. Those guys say no bad penalties. Well, maybe we should kill them off, and we'd be better off. And that's as us as a staff. We gotta, we gotta coach better. Uh, the players, you know, gotta react better. It was just what happened, and, and we're playing a good team. So in this league, not any nights off. Everybody's got great power plays, and it's frustrating uh, that we don't at least come away with with a point. But uh, I think month from now, we might be better off if this happened to us.